Joining us right now on the other end of the line is Lagodi native and Cincinnati Red pitching coach and soon to be Indiana Baseball Hall of Fame inductee, Mark Riggins. Mark, how are you doing? You're surviving the winter down there in Murray, Kentucky? Yes, it's, uh, it's all going good for us. Uh, we got a little snow last night. Uh, the winter's been good. It's been a busy winter. I've had a, an, uh, an exciting winter, starting with the fall being named the uh, pitching coach for the Reds and then being inducted into the Indiana Baseball Hall of Fame coming up here this coming weekend. So it's been a, a exciting winter and, and uh, been a busy winter. Well, I would imagine. Let's talk about the Indiana Baseball Hall of Fame first. By the time this airs on uh, Friday night and then probably again Saturday night in the pregame of the basketball, it's amazing that uh, at that time you will have been inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame with the banquet coming up on Friday night of this week. So you, you haven't lived in Indiana for more than 35 years. I'd imagine this kind of came out of the blue, didn't it? Can you tell us a little bit of how you were informed and what's the next step there? Yeah, it's uh, you know it was a big surprise for me. Uh, a few years ago, uh, a few people have nominated me. I, I got word of that. Uh, Coach Nante, who was at Lagodi in Princeton, you know, he's been in my corner, Ray Howard at Jasper, and my uh, my net, my first cousin at uh, Lafayette Catholic, Tim Bordenay, who is in the Indiana Hall of Fame also. You've got some uh, connections there, don't you? Yeah, there's uh, some people that have really supported me and uh, pushed for me, and, you know, that's what it takes to be nominated and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, the selection committee, you know, allows you to join the Hall of Fame. And it's quite an honor for myself and, and my family, so I'm really excited about it. Is your family going to be able to uh, enjoy this with you on Friday night? Yeah, some of them will be there. Uh, a few won't, but that's okay. They're, you know, their thoughts are there with me. And uh, so, you know, it's just a bit an exciting time for them and, you know, uh, I'm gladly accepting the award, but it's not only on behalf of me, but it's for my family, uh, the people of Lagodi, all the friends that I have. You know, it, it's uh, it's a big moment for them also. So it's it's great to, for some of them to show up and share that moment with me. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, we're proud of you, Mark. Congratulations on that, and certainly enjoy the weekend. It's a great honor. Let's talk about. So you talked about it's been an exciting winter. Uh, it may have been uh, not so much winter, but I guess early fall when you were named as the Major League Pitching Coach for the Cincinnati Reds. Third time around, I think, right? You were with the Cardinals back in 95, the Cubs a few years ago, and now with the Reds. Can you take us through the process that landed you back in the big leagues this time? Yeah, it's uh, fortunately I get another opportunity. It's pretty rare that you get three chances <laughs> at it. Uh, you know, and uh, so it happened out in, uh, I was in Arizona for our a fall, uh, Arizona Fall League with our young prospects, and uh, there were three of us that interviewed for it. Uh, the bullpen coach in, in uh, Cincinnati, Mac Jenkins, and Ted Power, our AAA pitching coach. Plus, there were going to be some outside people. And so it was a, it was a very good interview process, a uh, lengthy process. And then uh, the day before I left to come home, uh, October 20th, they I met Walt Jockety and Brian Price, the manager at Starbucks, and uh, they offered me the job, and I gladly accepted. So it was an exciting time at that moment. An interview at Starbucks. That's the way it happens, huh? Yeah. I mean, the interview, the interview happened at our complex. Uh, Walt Jockety, uh, a couple of his assistants, and uh, the newly named general manager, Dick Williams, was there. And, you know, so Brian Price led it, and it was there were some very, very good questions, and and uh, Brian and I have known each other since I came to the Reds. He was the pitching coach when I came to the Reds for two years, and he became the manager. So he and I have some relationships uh, throughout the course of the season and uh, and uh, big league spring training. So we knew each other fairly well. And so uh, you know, it's it's a uh, we're not re I, I hate to say rebuilding, but we've got a lot of opportunity for some younger guys this year. And uh, so. You know, I know at least half of those guys develop those guys in the farm system. So, you know, it's uh, it should be easy for these guys to, to uh, transition to me as a pitching coach. That was going to be my next question. You used opportunity. That's a better word than the challenge word that I was going to use because uh, for a good part of the season, the, Red had, the Reds had all rookies in their rotation, right? I think the last 62 or four games were, were all rookies there. And... Uh, 
you know, every team goes through this where you have a where you have a chance. The Cubs went through it. Houston went through it. The Royals went through it. Where you know the the payroll with uh, the guys becoming free agents and your chance to win. You know, all those options are weighed by the front office, and and uh, you know, so they they chose to let some guys go because the salaries became so high in our market in Cincinnati that uh, we got some guys back in the in the process and and uh you know it's kind of uh giving guys an opportunity to show what they can do and uh you, you, you put the guys together and then when you have a chance to win it then that's when you go after some some free agents that's gonna put you over the top. We're talking to Mark Riggins, of course Lagoti native, Indiana baseball Hall of Fame inductee as of this weekend and the new pitching coach for the Cincinnati Reds. How much Mark uh, do you think a part of you getting back into the big leagues with the Reds was that you really did play a large part in developing these rookies in the minors? Uh, yeah, it had, a, it had a big part. Uh, Ted Power, obviously, he was a triple-A, and he, he had seen all those guys come through. Mac Jenkins uh, was a coordinator, and I took his job uh, four years, four, five years ago. And uh, so we all know the, these guys. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, it's a little part, but that's – that wasn't the main thing. I think the the interview process went very well. My history with uh, St. Louis, uh, being around Whitey Herzog, uh, Joe Torre, Tony La Russa, you know, three Hall of Famers there, and uh, just you know the knowledge that I've had gained from being around some experienced guys helped helped me also. You know, I know the life of a minor league player than a big league coach seems to come with a lot of sacrifices to the family. Has there been times, Mark, when you were close to just walking away from baseball? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, my wife has been very supportive. My daughter has been very supportive. It's a very tough life in the minor leagues. You know, those those first 10 or 15 years, and, and then you kind of settle in a little bit. And and uh, they've been very supportive the whole way with my career. And it's made it very easy for me to uh, not even think about quitting. It's, uh, you know, people ask me when I'm going to retire. I said, I have no idea. It's In this game, you know, you you could be let go at some point and not get another job, or it could last for quite a while and hopefully, uh, you know, last for some more years. And, and retirement's not in the picture right now. Here we are approaching now late January. Can you take us – through Mark, what you'll be focusing on over the next couple of months up until the season opener? Yes, we. Uh, I mean, we're pre- we're preparing for spring training right now. Uh, I was just in Arizona last week. We had a, a meeting with about 15 pitchers for for thir- uh, actually for four days. So we're started uh, with phone conversations. You know, doing some uh, studying on the guys, their statistics that they had during the year, what their weaknesses are, and what their strong points are. And so we're preparing a uh, flight to spring training on February 15th, and we should we're out there for six weeks and, you know, try to figure out which guys we want to bring, you know, for the opening day. And as we explained to these young pitchers that we had out there in Arizona, you know, it's just not a 12-man staff. We're going to have to have probably 18 to 20 pitchers at some point throughout the course of the year to make it through the season. And that was part of our, part of our talk was uh, building – building these guys the way we want them to be built and, and the expectations of when they get there, you know, that, it, that, it, that they're huge and being prepared when they get there. How's that left arm of yours? Do you throw batting practice? I can still throw for probably 45 minutes if I have to. It's uh, Now, the distance has shortened up quite a bit. We're up there at about 40 feet right now, so, but, uh, yeah, I, I still throw and I'd love to throw the guys and, and it uh, keeps, keeps us young working with these guys. Absolutely. To bring it back and maybe to end, Mark, on a local note, I know you played for a Hall of Fame baseball coach and a Hall of Fame basketball coach, and you achieved great things individually and had great success as part of a team in both sports here at Lagodi High School. Can you take a moment to tell us what Coach Nante and Coach Butcher instilled in you that helped you in your path to the big leagues? Yeah, mostly the hard work that we put in to becoming winners at Lagodi. You know, it's nothing's given. Uh, the hard work and practice to prepare for the for the game, whether it was in basketball or baseball. You know, the fundamentals being fundamentally sound. Maybe we didn't have the best talent, 
But when we went out there to play, we played together as a group. And, you know, we were fundamentally sound. And all that hard work that we had in practice, which they enforced every day in practice, and it all paid off in our careers that we had at Liberty High School. Mark Riggins, the newest member of the Indiana Baseball Hall of Fame and the latest Cincinnati Reds pitching coach. Congratulations, Mark, on both ends, and good luck this season. Thanks a lot for the interview. I appreciate it, and uh, I hope to see everybody in Ligoti at some point through before I go to spring training.